guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 30 of Delicious Party Pretty Here, so let's go ahead and get started, and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah, this is the Mary Focus episode. Oh my god. Do you have money? Oh my god, Mary don't got no money. Oh my god. I know that feeling sometimes because like oh, you know how like you were working your butt off and you're like I'm gonna save but then at the same time you want to spend and such like oh I know that feeling I hate 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 spending money but then at the same time I love spending money I think okay no the only time I hate spending money is when I have to pay my bills <laughs> I hate that so much but I love spending money when I am buying something for me that's it <laughs> <laughs> that is it any other time when it's like cause okay so you gotta think about like my streaming services and stuff um and anything else that I buy so like when I pay my bills and I like have my bills to be automatically taken out of my bank and such and then I get a notification and I'll check my phone and I'll be like what the heck was this for and then I go and look and I'm like oh and then I get sad <laughs> Because it's like, okay, I'm going on a trip, right? And, ugh, the money that I had to spend for this day of the trip. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, I spent how much? Because <laughs> like, half of me is like, yes, I spent this. But then the other half is like, why did I spend this money? And that's why you have to budget. <laughs> oh my god, Mary. I mean, that cheeseburger looked really good. <laughs> and then you can get money that way. Like, what are you craving? No. Mm. Mm. There you go, noodles. Mm-hmm. Hmm? 
Well, you remain calm and positive, and you just have fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is just going to make me crave fried noodles or ish. Like, okay, so in my bag behind me and in my kitchen, I have like this noodle kit. I, I, of course, I take that one to work. That one's going to work with me tomorrow and such. But damn, I kind of want some noodles now before I go to um, Best Buy. Making noodles. Oh, you! You look so cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Watch the PV girl. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, of course, we all do that. Cipher. Okay. Jesus, I mean, you know, hi. <sighs> oh. 
I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. I want some so bad. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. I don't get it. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, it worked though. Two o'clock in the afternoon. I want food. Holy shit, she made it disappear. Oh. Bruh. I can't take this. <laughs> I can't take it seriously. I'm like, okay. A bottle. <laughs>
if she don't get to 3,000 by the end of this season, I'm going to be pissed. It would make the most sense. The fact that he did that with style and grace as well. Chef gets hats off. Like, oh my god. I'm still hungry though. <laughs> I want food. Ah, this show, I love pretty hair, but God, this season, every single episode, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Fortunately, when I'm done. Oh, Yui. Oh, Yui. Bro, this is just gonna hit hard when this show ends in January or like, well, no. Mi yeah, mid January going into February because like all these moments that they have with each other is just so freaking cute. And then, you know, when it is 
time to say goodbye to these girls and Mari and, you know, Takumi and everything. It's just, it's gonna hurt. I, I like, I, oh God, that's the good question. Is it gonna make me cry as I cried with Tropical Rouge? And I think the last time I really cried at the ending of Pretty Cure had to be between Go Princess and, like, Kirikira. Because I got super attached and such. Did I cry at, like, no, I didn't cry. No, I did. I did. I did cry at Mahotsukai. Mahotsukai's ending was just so sweet because, you know, a trio of three. And then plus to the fact is if you did ship Mirai and Rico, like, you, you cried over that ish no matter what we all freaking did. So don't deny it. I mean, oh, God. But, yeah, this was cute. Once again, you made me hungry. I kind of want some noodles now. I, I just, I want food. I've been up since, like... 7, 8 o'clock, and I just, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> but it was cute. I love the fact that it was mainly a Mari-focused episode because he is one of those types of characters where it's like, okay, he, he's technically not a mascot, but he's a guardian for them. And sometimes, not every single time, a guardian will get, like, focus. I mean, hell, you know, we can talk about the other Kanesuba person who also has been in this series. Too much to say, Yui. Holy sh. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm about to go parent trap up in this bitch next week. <laughs> As I was saying, um, so going back to. It's not healing. Hugato and Harry. And I, like, I still laugh at this crap because it's freaking hilarious now that I, like, looking back at this and being like, yeah, that that's really him. So if you have not seen Kanesuba and Ish, Kazuma voiced Harry in Hagato and such. And now we got freaking darkness on this bitch. So it's like, we only need our other two idiots to join, you know, because, I mean, I'm just saying. I would like to see those two in this series so freaking bad. But the funny thing was with Harry's situation and him being the guardians of the Hagato girls, um, he mainly either got his focus like through Homade because Homade had like the big behind crush on him. How we all had a big behind crush on him. I know I did. Um, and any episode where they had moments together was always sweet. But then at the same time, when you officially found out that he had feelings for Hagutan and such and that they were technically together but they never really kind of answered that you're like damn like this fucking sucks but still any moment that they had together was sweet but like I said also any moment with Mary having a moment where he is like the getting the most focus is very interesting because of the fact is like I said mostly like the guardians as characters don't really get that much focus in an episode and such and so by the time like the show ends and when you have like maybe some initial final thoughts on them it's kind of the same thoughts that you have at the beginning like oh hey interesting character I wish that they gave us more on them so I don't know maybe by the time we get to mid-January <laughs> also February maybe I'll have a different thing to say but typically, that is usually what I end up saying about, like, the Guardians. Because I'll, I always end up talking about the girls and never really, like, other characters. Because the girls are the main focus of the show. And every other season doesn't always feature, like, a male counterpart. You know? So, because, like, we can talk about last season. that didn't. <laughs> We all know that did it. We all know Tropical Rouge did not, like barely barely like the biggest male coest part uh component was that was like what like everyone's dad that was really it like uh <coughs> oh i hate when i do that but that makes me kind of want to rewatch tropical rouge because of course like my babies and they miss them so freaking much plus the fact is you know hey manosu aka freaking jolene because that also reminds me i need to catch up on freaking jojo and i have no time but it's so freaking hard but other than that guys that is my reaction to be towards episode 30 of delicious party pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day to the master squad and of course i will see you guys <clears throat> either on saturday or sunday for episode 31 bye guys